What's up guys, this is James First, and before we actually start today's episode of Banjo-Tooie, I want to address something regarding the music. Uh, for some reason the game music bugged out for some reason when compressing, and I can't go back that far since the game automatically saves. So I put in jo the music from Jolly Rogers Ragoon, but the sound effects such as like eggs being fired, people talking, won't be in there. So sorry about that. It only happened this episode. Future episodes aren't affected by it so far. So yeah, sorry about that and enjoy today's episode. What's up guys, this is James First and welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie last time. We did some stuff outside in the Isle of Hags and... Spiral Mountain get under second sheet. And we did a little bit of Jolly Rogers Bay, not that much, just explored a bit of it. And today we're gonna be doing mainly Roger Bar Roger Bodger. Uh Jolly Rogers Bay, more of it. And I wanna go in here real quick into the tavern. Okay, yeah, I did look at the menu last time. Uh do you say anything else? My partner sales are turning now. Okay. Alright, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, we're gonna explore the right side of here, or left side, or whatever. Into. What are you? Bit. Bob. Paw Nose. Paw. I saw that. I thought that said Ponjo. Paw Nose Emporium. Let me guess, it's a pawn shop? Huh? Huh? Did I get it right? Oh, yeah, it is. Greetings, friend. The name's Pawnell. I'm the local pawnbroker. We're interested in that jiggy in the case. Ah, yes, the real nice piece. Circa Banjo Kazooie, so I was told. I reckon 20 gold coins doubloons would be a fair trade. 20 doubloons? We only want the jiggy. Now your whole shop. Well, we can't do anything about that. We're missing about. Is it actually a girl? Let me hear your voice real quick. Cause <laughs> I was giving the salty jelly voice. Oh, I guess it was a girl. What do you say? I nah, not at the moment. Well, if you change your mind, you know where I am. Okay. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought it was a guy for a sec. <laughs> I guess not. Okay. Oh, uh, that grunt, that grunting plush is actually from the first game. That's one of the prizes for uh, Grunty's Fun Time Quiz. And yeah, we can't get anything here. Can we smash it? I'm supposed to just say anything. Oh, actually, I want to try something. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, that's there. We have the Globo, so we could go to Mumbo anytime we wish. Wait, actually... Unlock two, didn't we? No, we. Oh, yes, we did. All right. Okay, so Mumbo. There was a Mumbo pad right there, so we could go there. We also have to go there to to that. I want to come here first because there's something interesting. I want to see. No, I didn't. And we are gonna lose life, I guess. No, not. Okay. Well, let me get these doubloons real quick. Two gold doubloons! <laughs> Ooh, come on. Aim right. Uh, swimming mechanics. You either love them or you hate them. You mostly hate them. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. sewage. Yeah, it doesn't hurt us. I'm surprised it doesn't, considering it's sewage and it gave this pig an extra arm. Okay. Uh, was there anything else to the right? No? I know there's a ginger over there that we could get. When I first played this and I came into here, I thought a monster would appear out of here out of nowhere. <laughs> I got scared. I'm like, I don't want to go in there because there's going to be a monster or something like that. Okay, well, we almost have all the doubloons. Doubloons, doubloons. We just need four more for the jiggy. And let me get... Come on, can I Can I not get you? I guess not, okay. Let me go back to that house. Oh, I know. 
it just easier, because we I remember how to swim faster. <laughs> I still can't believe that's a thing. I don't think I've ever... I, I'm pretty sure i never seen that before. So, that was wild. Okay, let's go in here to... Way racer higher. Oh hey, you're back. Ahoy there! I be your old shipmate, Captain Blubber. How you going, me hearties? Bit of a hard day, really. Alright, oh, these adventures are all the same. So many places to go and things to find. Ain't standing around now. How's business, Blubber Guts? Not good, landlubbers. All me wave racers are shipwrecked. And the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Perhaps we could lend you a doubloon or two. Nah, shipmates. But I will sell ye my last possession for just one doubloon. How about it, me hearties? Do you want my last possession for I do one doubloon? <laughs> for I doubloon for one doubloon? Eh, sure, why not? Oh, he's a good un banjo. Have a look inside this here crate. It better be something good. Thanks, shipmates. I'll be off to Jolly Roger Jolly's for the quiz night. There'll be 1,000 doubloons up for grabs, and if I win, I'll be having me a fine new flying machine. Or, oh yeah, that's what you said, flying machine. Okay. Well, this is the Jinjo. Oh, okay, this is cool, this is cool. Alright, look at this. That's how we get this Jinjo, because Kazooie is a god and can run on water. I know, how wonderful. <laughs> and that's the other orange Jinjo, so we got a Jiggy from there. Yes, we'll take your, we'll take your fairly, fa fairly, family heirlooms. Alright. Let's go in here and raid Captain Blubber's, uh, place of all his notes and whatnot. And, oh, there was another Jinjo in here. Okay. Where are you now? I do not see you. Unless you're behind the counter. Oh, you can actually grab onto them. That's cool. Alright, where's the Jinjo at? That makes two Jinjos of this world. Doing pretty good so far. And can we not get into the back room, the private? Private. Private. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. I did not mean to do that. Went back to Jolly's to see what's going on with Captain Blubber. Since he should be here, is he here with you? No? A bear stole me glory, looked a bit like you. He did. Uh huh. Shiver me timbers, these seasick tablets Charlie gave me. Oh. Uh, I think you want to worry about what, what tablets those were. Okay. A couple of paintings from the previous game worlds from the previous game but there's nothing else in here we got the band we got the move so I think we're more or less good here so all that's left is to get mumbo Oh, I forgot about the Turtle View Cave before we actually go swimming. Oh, there's the balloons here. The balloons. And a move. Nice, nice, nice. We are... We are one short. Oh, boy. Let's get our move. For a good punk, you won't be needed to learn this move. One. Just flee, girl, there. Oh. He sounds so disappointed. Okay. Well, there were split pads uh, on top of Mumbo's, uh, near Mumbo's house. So, ooh, do I really want to go around trying to find this last doubloon? I know there are 30 and we only used a couple, but still. Uh, let me see if I can find it. 
Okay, couldn't find the doubloon for the life of me. I'm pretty sure there's more somewhere else. Like I said, there's only 30, but there's only 30 in the game or in this world, but only 26 are required. So let's get our mumbo friend once again to get off his lazy bum. Is there a gold coin in here? No, just honeycomb beads. Sorry. Or maybe it's behind the chair. No, it's not. Or it's his lovely throne. Yes, 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 Mumbo. We want your help. We got a Globo. And now you're going to help us. I know Mumbo doesn't really do much, but I wish he had more to do aside from helping you, uh, get, it, get the, uh, Mumbo magic to work on areas. I feel like it just takes a bit out. Maybe if, like, the more you, uh, the more times you used him, like, once per world, like, his magic gets better or something. I don't know. Mumbo shine big light on water. It now have plenty oxygen. Better and bird not need to hold breath in their head now. One of the best uh, Mumbo magics in the game. It only works on this world, so other areas of water, you're gonna be fine. They're not. They don't have that many water because this is the only like world that has like a lot of water, so it makes sense. Still, I wish this was like a fully, uh, thing or something. <laughs> like a power-up, I guess. I guess if you could call it like that. Anyway, combine with the oxygenated water, I think that's how he said it. And the, uh, swimming technique we learned from, uh, fish. I forgot, I forgot his name already. We can finally go in here. Yes, underwater. Now. Don't be freaked out if I have to stop every now and then and uh, get myself fixed. Cause uh, okay, come on. Oh, okay, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get the note. There we go. And I think this one had notes as well. And wow, these things are creepy. Oh, it was just one of them. Oh no, that's just set of eggs. Wow. Eggs, 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 eggs. Oh, you have the note. Okay. Come on. Luckily, we have lots of ice eggs, so we're fine. Come on, kill him. I thought for sure these guys would freeze up, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't like the swimming in Banjo-Kazooie, or in any game for general. Oh. Well, that's what happens when you get hit. You lose health. Yeah, how wonderful. But this world might take me the longest. Or just. Actually, no. This world might take me the second longest because there is another world that's gonna take even longer. Okay, let's get you. And plus, the aiming's so finicky. I never even checked it. After I get this now, I'm gonna check it real quick. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Keep thinking it's inverted. No, give me, give me. Uh. Finally got it. Okay. I think these are the only notes inside these. Uh. Uh. And then many things. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, can we go in here? Nope, it looks like we just need Kazooie. Okay. Uh, actually, let me check real quick. Okay, I checked and there's no sensitivity thing for the, uh, for the aim, because that's weird. Usually games would have that. I mean, I know this is an old game, but... Okay, then. 
Alright. There we go. Yeah, camera angle combined with swimming. Uh, this is gonna be a nightmare if I say so myself. Where do you take me? You take me Smuggler's Cavern. Oh. Oh, we have these things. I don't know if I want to go here quite yet. Let me turn around. Actually, no. Let me get a... Because knowing me, there's going to be a, a warp pad or something around here. These, uh, these puffer fish were always getting annoying. Okay. And this fish. Uh, I never figured out how to actually do it. But what you have to do... Okay, not that. Oh, come on! Die! Well, that didn't work, and I am almost dead. Alright, let's go somewhere else. Because that fish gave me a lot of trouble as a, when I first played this. So I'm wondering how I'm gonna get this done. Oh, I didn't even get the- I didn't even get our new move. Uh, uh. And we'll do that later. Or if we die, we'll go back there. Alright. Let's go and set up down. We're going to the left, to the left. I think. Yeah, left. Alright. Actually, what am I doing? Let me do my uh, fast swimming. That's going to get us a lot quicker through this world. I spent so much time in this world. Oh, these things. Uh, as you can see, they see us, so... Yep, that's all you have to do for these guys. They do thaw out after a while, so be careful about that. And there's actually an achievement in the uh, 360 and Xbox One versions that... Uh, well, mainly just the Xbox version. That to uh, freeze all the octopuses you see. Yeah. And we are in... Atlantis! I think that's what they called it. <laughs> Let me get this warp pad. And you know what? Let me, uh... Or, oh, I don't know if it was, uh... If there were split pads near Wombo's, uh... Well, Wombo's? Mumbo's, uh, house. I don't think so, so I think we're just gonna explore for the time being. Firstly, this giant chasm. And, oh, there's a treble cliff in there. Uh, and, well, I guess we can't explore in that. Let's get the treble cliff, because we can. Uh, that's gonna get most of our notes done. We've seen a lot of stuff with Kazooie, we just haven't been able to do anything. Alright. Get the treble cliff, get the treble cliff, get the treble cliff. There we go, nice. Jesus, okay. A lot of these just need Kazooie, so... Yeah. There we go, we finally found some Ooh, notes. More notes. I'll take notes. Notes are my favorite friend. Along with all the other collectibles. Yeah, if we didn't, if we had to breathe, if we need a uh, air, then that would have been more horrible. Electric Eels Lair. Ooh. Wow, they actually go pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's go up here. Oh, I remember this place. Go to your RT launches, bird. Just watch her go through that water like a torpedo. That didn't rhyme. Left six here in A for speed. X to cancel if Banjo would see need. I'll be all and thank you for your help me, Jam. You feel really healing me, Jam Jars. Uh, was there anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, Scoob. And, uh, run, 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 run from these. Run from these electric eels. They're not appealing. Shit up now. Okay, for Kazooie, 
It does consume fetters. Uh, oh, she also has air that needs to be done. Okay. Oh. I already forgot what was needed for this move. Hooray! Aren't I smart? Alright. Let's get her out. Okay, so it's A. Alright. And this actually looks kind of funny with Kazooie, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh. What are you doing, Kazooie? Oh... I think I get it now. You know what I think? You know what I think? I think we need that move from up above for, uh... Kazooie. So, yeah, we won't be able to do this unless we, uh... Get the split pads. Uh, another octopus here. Man, he's going fast. He is having a blast. Maybe just happy, so happy to see us. Come on. Uh, hello. Man, I am wasting all my eggs on this guy. You feel special, Mr. Octopus. <laughs> Let's go here. What's here? Oh, this place. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. We have running shoes, eggs, more stuff for Kazooie that we can't do. All right. I'm gonna go back to the surface and see if I can find some split up pads up there. Be right back. Actually, no, let's go to the right here, see what's here first. Or to the left. A sea bottom, okay. Why did that one only take one? Do I just have to shoot it in its mouth? Is that how it goes? Okay, and... Get up here, we're already exploring quite a bit of Jolly Rogers again. Okay, we have another one of you that I can't deal with. D. Jones. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Eh. Public day for Jones. <laughs> Alright, so we have that thing with that honeycomb piece. And I completely forgot how to deal with those guys, because, yeah, why not? Alright. Town center it is. Now we can finally do stuff with the, with the bear limber then. I don't know. There we go, because we. Uh, I did not mean that. There we go, after much banter and whatnot. Let's finally go here, and I'll be honest, we haven't really done anything yet, but with this move, we'll be able to get more stuff, alright. 265 was primary, oh. You lost the safety that Banjo brings. Defend this yourself now with your wings. I didn't whirl them around by pressing X. A useful attack, I think you'll agree. You haven't rhymed lately. That'll be all, dismiss. This was not the move I thought it was. Ugh. Well, now we can attack with the Kazooie now that we're all alone. Which is something you'll need to be doing for a while. But... Ugh, this isn't the move that I thought it was gonna be. Ugh. Okay. Oh, you know what's something that we could do? Let's go back in here. I wanna try something real quick. Okay, so it's not working with the boots. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but we haven't really done a lot. We didn't really do a lot in this episode. We only got two Jinjos and a uh, Honeycomb piece, but we unlocked most of Jolly Rogers' base. So, or Jolly Rogers Lagoon. So, that's gonna be it. Next time, let's play Banjo 2. We're gonna hopefully get, be getting some more Jiggies in this world. 
and a whole lot of other stuff, alright? I'll see you guys then.